the old sloth hiker getting back online uh, the last time I was online I was uh, <clears throat> getting ready to go in and get a heart catheterization and I thought uh, I'd probably have to have a couple stents and I'd be gone about a couple weeks and then I'd be back at it unfortunately that's not what happened uh, the guy the dr. shake who's a really good cardiac doctor uh, did my cath and he got in there and he said, uh, Freddie says, I got some bad news. He says, we can't fix this with a cath. He says, you've got some really severe blockage here and not just in one, but in several. And he said, uh, we can't fix it with a cath. Uh, we're going to need to do open heart surgery. And that wasn't exactly what I was planning for my summer. This was the last uh, week in June. And uh, so basically what happened was uh, I had a quadruple bypass, and I also had to have uh, a valve replacement. Uh, <laughs> so it, that's a major, major surgery. And so the rest of the summer, I have just been uh, uh, recuperating for most of the time. Uh, all of July, I could hardly get around, even in the house. I had a reclining chair that I basically sat in most of the time. I got up and did a little bit of walking around the house and I did a little bit of walking out on the sidewalk but uh, I was pretty much laid up uh, couldn't couldn't get up and in in or out of bed couldn't uh, grab anything to push down when they do a open heart surgery they uh, they split your sternum and when they put that back together they just wire it shut but then it just has to heal up and it basically takes 10 to 12 weeks to heal back up. And so while you're doing that, you can't hardly put any pressure on your arms to push down or reach above and pull up. So it was, uh, it was a hard recovery. It's the hardest thing probably I think I've ever done in my life. Uh, but the good news is, uh, well, one good news was that after my surgery, nothing tasted good. No food tasted good. So I really, uh, I struggled even to keep my blood sugar up. Um, I wasn't taking any shots and hardly any medicine, and I was still just barely able to keep my blood sugar up, so I wasn't, you know, going into some kind of diabetic shot. Eventually, I got my taste back about, oh, probably about two, two and a half months after. I don't have, I still don't have the taste back for a lot of things, like uh, I think most of you remember, I, I, I was a diet, or a Coke Zero and a Pepsi Zero fiend, I used to drink two or three of those a day, and diet pop of any kind right now doesn't taste good at all. So I'm pretty much back to just drinking water, and that's probably really good for me. Uh, I also lost about 30-some pounds. I've still got, I'd like to lose about 20 or 30 more by, you know, maybe by January or February. So we'll see how we do, but uh, uh, I am feeling better now. I'm just getting to the point where I can do some walking and uh, do some uh just just actually walk you know and uh, uh, I haven't uh, I haven't actually used my trekking poles that's on the agenda probably for tomorrow and I'm gonna go out and use my trekking poles a little bit out on one of the trails I'm not gonna go very far I'm gonna go on a trail with it, like in a park that has benches so I can rest uh, it's been a long long recovery uh, it, it's it's really you know been been tough I just want to tell all of you that uh, if you are overweight or if you don't have good eating habits and, and you're kind of pushing that high cholesterol stuff, boy, make sure you keep ch checking it. Um, I really wasn't having very many issues. I was a little bit of short of breath because I was overweight, but I didn't really feel like anything was wrong with my heart. I'd, I'd had a heart attack before and I had two stents uh, or a stent put in the initial heart attack and I had two more, oh, about 12 years ago. And I really just hadn't had that many issues since then. And when I went in, I went in, I always try to, you know, every three years or so, I would always go do a stress test just to keep a check on it. And this last stress test, it didn't look good at all. And I wasn't, I wasn't feeling bad, 
And, uh, but the test was correct. I wasn't good at all. In fact, when the doctor, uh, you know, gave me the cath and said, Hey, we got to do surgery. He said, and I'm not letting you out of the hospital. He says, you're going to stay here overnight for a couple nights until we can do the surgery because I, I'm afraid you might have a heart attack. And uh, I laughed. They told my wife afterwards, they said, if he'd only known what we were doing the day before I had that cath, I was moving like, I moved like 25 bags of mulch around my house and spread them around so I could get it done before my cath. And uh, probably it's really fortunate I didn't have a heart attack then. Anyways, I am feeling much better now. And I'm getting to the point where uh, hopefully, probably in three or four weeks, I'll be able to go out and camp again. One of the things I've done is, while I was gone, I ended up getting a new bare butt hammock. This is the, the landscape one, okay? And uh, the other thing that happened since I've been gone is, we have this nice little uh, shed from Miller's uh, uh, shed up in uh, Amish country. They built this, and you can kind of see around. So what I've done is I've hung my hammock up. I put some bolts uh, up in the two by fours. And then I have my ridge line here and I just have some simple uh, hang up things here. I just have some uh, stuff that I hung that comes with the bare butt hammocks. Uh, and so I, I just made it kind of like a simple daisy chain. And then I have a carabiner right here that hooks on. I can take this down and hang it up. So there's my hammock. And I really like it. This first one I've gotten for a little while. It's basically a double hammock. And uh, it's just like all the other bare butts, except it has a little bit different design. So yeah. And here's my, here's my barn. I really, really like it. We have a nice workbench here that I can work on. And we got lots of place to store stuff. We still haven't filled it all up yet. We've got things, places to store things there. And, and we're still putting up some tool hangers so I don't have to hang all the tools out in my garage. And uh, got some stuff up there. <laughs> got the porta potty that I used while I was, uh, while I was recovering. So, so you can see we've been kind of busy even though I wasn't here and I couldn't do a lot of it uh, we've gotten a lot done this summer uh, my my wife was right in the middle of we were right in the middle of remodeling our kitchen and so we had to move stuff we we had to <clears throat> move where we we, we we put new stuff on our floors first uh, vinyl flooring in and we did it all across downstairs. So we had to clean out every room and empty them, which was really a hard thing. And my wife ended up having to do most of it because I, I, all I could do was sit in a chair and watch her. And then uh, <clears throat> we re remodeled the kitchen, took a wall out and things like that. I didn't do it. We had it hired. But, uh, um, you know, it, and then, of course, COVID, everything's slow. So some of the stuff didn't come in on time. So the, the builders had to wait for a while to do stuff. But uh, most of it's done now, and, and we have this beautiful new kitchen that we're real excited about. I'm so happy that I could, we were able to afford it and uh, get it from my wife. Uh, she oftentimes has gone without for many, many years during our marriage, just so that, uh, you know, so I didn't have to go out and get a second job or anything like that. And, and she, she uh, is a Pampered Chef consultant, and she helped put the kids through school with that. Uh, but... Uh, She's been able to work part-time all the time, and that's what she really wants to do. She didn't want to be a full-time career person. And so and so, I'm still teaching, and uh, I am teaching again. I, I got back in the fall. Um, I, 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 I really don't had, uh, I had about four weeks left in the recovery, but uh, um, I actually started uh, mid-August, and uh, I just, my, my uh, principal gave us, a, gave me a good schedule, so I, I have two classes in the morning, then I have a whole uh, lunch period and a prep period off, and then I have two more classes, and then that's it, and I'm home. I'm also teaching out in uh, at, at Capital University, um, teaching my astronomy course, as always, but that's just uh, three hours on uh, Saturday, or Wednesday night, and then I usually grade papers Saturday morning. So, uh, so, um, I'm not. I'm taking care of myself. I'm. I'm going pretty easy. 
Uh, we just got three quarter wood delivered uh, a week ago, and so I've got some of that stacked. Um, don't have it all stacked, but we got uh, probably about a quart and a half, maybe two quarts all of it stacked already. So that's been my first real, I don't want to say heavy exercise. I only carry about two at a time, but that is, uh, I, I, I have been, uh, uh, you know, that's really worn me out. So, uh, so today I just thought I'd take a break and, and just touch base with you and let you know I'm still around and, uh, appreciate, I know several of you did actually know that I was, I had a surgery and you sent prayers and good wishes and stuff online. And I do really, really appreciate that. I'm hoping in about, you know, three or four weeks to get back out on the trail. I probably won't be on the trail, probably do car camping for a little bit. And, uh, but I'm hoping maybe by, you know, December or January that I can get back out on the trail and do a little bit of backpacking. Um, so that, that'll be fun. And, uh, I'm actually, uh, getting my backpack and putting it on and, uh, carrying some stuff out to a, uh, uh, a park uh, on Monday. Our teachers are doing, uh, we're having a professional day and most of the time we do stuff that relates to education. But this time, uh, the boss said, Hey, let's have a professional day where we just kind of help take care of ourselves and show each other what uh, we enjoy. And so uh, one of the things we're going to do is I'm going to do a little thing about how to set up and uh, do camping in the winter in a hammock. And uh, I already got several teachers that want to come and see it. So so that'll be fun. And uh, that'll help me, you know, kind of get back in the swing of things. And uh, so wish me luck on that. All right. Well, that's all I got to tell you today. I don't have a lot to say. But thank you again for all your prayers and all your good wishes. And uh, hope to uh, be posting here pretty soon about getting back at it. Have a good one.